Sadu, sadu, sadu. Namo tasa bhagavato arato Sama sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arato Sama sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arato Sama sambuddhasa Omi sudha blessed one Tava divan the supremely enlightened one, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Pay homage to this blessed one, Sadhu, Sadhu. Pay homage to our teacher, Loko Swami Nwansi, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Uh, dear Dhamma friends, dear children, Last month we learned uh, Sekabala, five training powers. Uh, did you remember that? Uh, Dino, can you tell me that five Sekabala? Uh, Shanda Sila. Mm -hmm. uh, Sukha. Sutta. Sutta. Uh, Pratna. Tyaga. Okay. Uh, here was the meaning of that, those things. Can you tell me means? Shota means faith one answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the seal? Uh, seal one answer. The seal, like, um, and for the precepts one answer. Good. Uh, Sutta? Dharma knowledge. The short answer. Then uh, Tyag. Generosity. Prakya. Wisdom. Okay, you are smart. Huh? Good. Uh, okay, today we are going to learn this. Uh, sutta name Masi and Sutta, and also there is another Sutta name uh, Dasabala, is uh, the ten powers of the Buddha, ten powers of the Tathagata. Uh, mostly you know, I think uh, you learned that uh, Acharya Manusa program, this ten powers of the Buddha. Okay, then. Buddha explained that Buddha had 10 powers. Firstly, now we are human. We, uh, if you have a competence, confidence in the Buddha, you have to know about uh, Buddha's knowledge. If you don't know Buddha's knowledge, Buddha's uh, realization, then you don't have confidence of, in the Buddha. Because we have to learn about Buddha. Now mostly you know Buddha had uh, nine qualities. Uh, last time we learned uh, Shraddha, according uh, uh, Shraddha, then we learned that uh, nine qualities of the Buddha. And you every day, I think, chant uh, the qualities of the Buddha, Itipisogata. Mm, but we are also we have to know meaning of that. Okay. Then further we can uh, we have to learn Buddha's others uh, qualities. This mainly Dasabalanyan, the ten powers of the Tathagata, and Buddha has four uh, Vishardanyan. Then Buddha explained. Uh, can you tell me? I think you learn already. Uh, I want to check. You know, you don't know that. Um, what's the first knowledge of? Uh, what's the first knowledge of that uh, first power of the Buddha, Tathagata? 
Jnana. Can you tell me? Subodha. Do you know uh, Dasa Balanyan? Um, See, Vidikit Bhante told me he thought that Dasa Balanyan. Uh, um, I think one is uh, that um, the Buddha has psychic powers. No, not not not, not first one. Start. Uh, do you know? Can you tell? Oh, very good. Smart. Yeah, Buddha knows what is the possible. Eh? What is the possible as possible and what is the impossible as impossible. Then it Buddha described then uh, Anguttara Vikaya, uh, first book. Then Buddha explain about that. Uh, what is the possible thing Buddha, according to Buddha's teaching? Then Buddha explained it is impossible. Uh, it cannot happen for two wheel turning monarch to arise in same solar system at the same time. Okay, that's a impossible thing. What is the possible thing? Um, the two great kings were like born at the same time in the solar system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It means uh, two supreme but the source answer. One, one will turn in monarchy to arise in one solar system is the possible at the same time two uh, great kings in uh, that uh, will turn in monarch kings appeared in the world same time is impossible thing possible things what is the possible thing one uh, will turn, uh, turn in monarchy in, appeared in the world. It's a, uh, that's the uh, same time that uh, that's the possible thing. And also uh, uh, two Tathagatas uh, ar arise in the same solar system at the same time is impossible. What is the possible thing? Only one sun with Tathagata can appear in the solar system. Yeah. Can you tell uh, impossible things? We, we have more in suttas. Linda, do you know? Oh, sorry, Bante. Let me try one, Bante. That yeah. is impossible for a stream entrant uh -huh. to be reborn in the four bad destination, yes, but it is possible for a stream entrant to mm -hmm. be reborn in a good destination. Very so. good. Uh, Isura, do you know? I think um, one of them is it's impossible for a, a female to become a supreme Buddha. Yeah. Good. And uh, further, would they explain in uh, Anguttanika is uh, then Samsutta? Mm, it is impossible. It cannot that uh, good results comes from bad verbal conduct. Right? And but it is possible that the bad results come from bad uh, bodily action. Hiro, why? Uh, no, 
a soda panda. Um, it's impossible for soda pan, yeah, for for soda panda to have a like, uh, to have a li li lives of more than seven seven. It's possible to to for soda panda to only have maximum seven lives. Correct. Uh, yeah, then, and also, uh, it is impossible, it cannot happen that someone who is a stream enterer would kill their mother and also father uh, and kill Arhant and cause division among the Sangha and uh, also and uh, spill the blood of the Tathagata with evil intentions. Poor things is uh, not happened. The stream enter didn't do that. It's uh, impossible. It's like then Buddha explained according to that jnana. First jnana is uh, we call Pali Tanancha Tanato, Atanancha Tanato, Yatabutam Pajanat. The Tathagata truly knows what is possible as possible and what is impossible as impossible. That's the first Tathagata Jnan. Okay, remember it's very important. In Buddha's disciple have to know that those jnana, those knowledge of the Buddha. Okay, can you explain second one? What's the second knowledge of the that uh, power of the Buddha? The second power of the Buddha is that the Buddha understands uh, like the cause of a deed and the mm -hmm. past, present, and future. Okay, correct. So, Pali, Ati Tanagata Pachupananang Kamma Samadhanang Tarna So Hetu So Yatabhutam Pajanat. It's been that Tathagata truly knows the result of action that have been done in the past, present, or future. They are course and the place where those results will happen. Uh, that's a um, beautiful story behind uh, that uh, we can uh, get some idea that the story. Uh, it may mention that uh, Nitti Pyakarana, this uh, Mahakachana Bhante's uh, explanation. Here there are then some story. Uh, one day the Buddha was walking on the road. Uh, Passerby saw the Buddha and got confidence in the Buddhas just by seeing him. Okay, then he, uh, but he don't have food or anything to offer, so like food, but he had a uh, flower, we call that Pali word, Vatansaka means a uh, crown of flower. Then he offered that to the Buddha on the road. Uh, then that time the Buddha smiled. The mostly Buddha, uh, there is a, there is a, if there is a reason, then Buddha smile. Without reason, Buddha never smile. Then after happen, you know, then if uh, Buddha is uh, supreme Buddha smile, what happened after that? Ananda Sabanti asked why is Buddha smiling? No, how to know that uh, Anandamati is uh, walk behind the Buddha? How do you know if uh, Buddha smile or not? And so when the Buddha smiles, uh, like, uh, when the radiance comes from the Buddha? Yeah. Appeared in Buddha's mouth and circled three times and disappeared. Then Anandamati saw that. Then asked, oh, Bhante, why? Uh, uh, smile. I uh, heard from the Buddha 
uh, then Buddha never smile without reason. Then Buddha explained, uh, uh, did you see Ananda, the person who offered the flowers to me? Yes, Bhante, then Ananda Bhante replied. Then Buddha explained, this person who gain confidence in me will not go to the lower realms for 84 eons. Then after that, he will become a Pacheka Buddha name, Vatansaka. Vatansaka means that, uh, I mean, a crown of flower. Then see, then Buddha saw Risat. Huh? Buddha saw Risat and Buddha... Uh, Say, said that he never go to bad world for 84 years. Only can Buddha tell that. The other people can't tell that. As Buddha, according to that knowledge, Buddha can see uh, action of, uh, a result of uh, karma. If someone do bad thing, bad action, they, they gain bad result. If someone do good action, they will get good result. The Buddha understood that. Then you know the uh, you offer dana and you follow precept. Why you follow precepts? And you why you give dana? Linda, because most people don't give that, right? Eh? Yes, Pante, because um, all those factors are going to be um, uh, the foundation, the ornaments for us to attain uh, the path and attain the path and the fruit. It's the um, Because you foundation. do that? <laughs> Yes, Pante, I do dana in the thought that uh, the merit that I'm, I have uh, collected will mm. help me in the path um, to the Nibbana, Pante. Mm. Ah. You do want to say, say something? The Buddha said that there are benefits in this life and in the next life. Mm. Yeah, because the more than we can't see result of giving. Uh, but we have a competence because Buddha explained that because Buddha had that jnana, that power, uh, he can see the sort of uh, good or bad action. Then uh, you know the especially that uh, there is a right view, there is a wrong view. There's a right view is is. Uh, uh, there is a result of giving. What is the wrong view? Yeah, logically, we can't see, yeah? we can't see result. Then Buddha explained, uh, there is some, they, uh, the, if you give dana, there is some uh, result you can gain in this life. Minupa, do you know that? That, uh... uh like, sorry, you can the be recalled in this life, also. Hey, my son, also. Um, I believe there were, uh, five, I think, long life. I think I should we, Okay, you, you can't see that, huh? Oh, no, not in this, like, we can't physically see it, but, um, Is the results... TV? The results of giving, but we know based on what the Buddha said that those results we will get either in this life or the future lives. No, as some Sutta Buddha explained, you can gain result of this life. Yeah, so. uh, Subodha, do you know that? Uh, it says that you receive things back after you give some uh, I I didn't hear. It says that you uh, when you give you get back you get stuff back when you give. 
Yeah, if you give dana to Bante, Bante gave something to you? Give. And no answer. Huh? If you give dana in this life, uh, you get, uh, you get uh, stuck. You get like, it's hard to explain, son, answer. Sansa, I think he means uh, when we give to others, others will give back to us like later when we need it. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that uh, happen all the time. <laughs> also, it's not so nice. so when we give Dana, we feel happiness, like we rejoice. Oh, okay, good. That's correct. If you give Dana, you become happy, yeah? That if someone don't give Dana, he, he didn't feel that. You don't feel that. Uh, there is some more, eh? but the explanation, I think, five uh, things you can uh, see result of this life. Linda, do you know that? Sorry, Bante, is it the result of giving, Bante? Yeah, yeah, in this life, you can see this life. Do you know that? Um, it doesn't come up to my mind right now. <laughs> um, okay. Ha happiness in this life. Um, yeah, you, are, you become delight, your be mind become delight. And also, uh, good reputation is spread. Wow. Yeah, okay. if people know how oh, this person give dana. Eh? If, uh, if you don't give dana, it's not uh, expect good uh, reputation. No? That's result of giving. And can you explain uh, more? And also to explain if you give dana, you can go without fear, terrain, uh, there's crowd of people, you can go. Oh, sorry, Monday. Is it like when you are among people, like um, you don't have fear, like because? Yeah, if you uh, you can go crowd of people without fear, terror, because you know you are giving done, you are practicing generosity. Then also, uh, uh, that time uh, it's. Uh, you don't uh, confuse. See, then Buddha knows result of giving. Huh? Then that's, that's Buddha's uh, knowledge. That's Buddha's power. According to that power, Buddha uh, uh, set in motion the wheel of Dhamma. The second uh, Buddha's power, second Dasabalanyan. Uh, then the uh, uh, third one, uh, Tathagata truly know the practices that lead to every state of beings. Uh, it means uh, that the uh, second jnana Buddha's know about karma. Then sabbatta uh, gaminin patipadang yata bhutam pajanat. It means Buddha truly know the practice that leads to every state of beings. It means Buddha knows the path that leads to hell. And also Buddha uh, knows the path that uh, leads to God's world. Asura world, uh, heavenly world, human world. Buddha uh, knows every path. And also the uh, uh, eight noble four, uh, four path. Now if you do uh, bad things using body uh, 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 and also verbal action, mental action, that a bad bodily action, verbal action, action mental action, then 
result uh, then they go to the hell then buddha understood that then buddha knows every path according to that uh, knowledge buddha explain uh, about hell beings uh, and goes world heavenly world brahma world and also buddha knows path to go uh, brahma world that's the third knowledge of the buddha sabbat gamini yatha bhutam pajanat the third knowledge the third uh, power of the buddha mm do you know what is the fourth one ah uh, sounds said the fourth one is that um the supreme buddha understands the world and the different things of the world and the humans mm, yeah it mean uh aneka dhatu nana dhatu lokam pajanat buddha strongly knows all the various elements of the world buddha had knowledge of the world you know the buddha explain uh, there has been some beings uh, like uh, nanatta kaya nanatta sanji uh, the way difference beings have different perceptions and different physical appearance like human buddha knows that and uh, then you know we the we are human we have a different body yeah? and we have concepts difference and also deva they include that category nanatta kaya nanatta sanji then is ekat kaya nanatta sanji it means uh, body like look like same uh, then but perception is different it's like uh, you know that beings is their uh, bodies same no difference but they are concepts as difference do you know that devas which devas like that am they could be avasara no yeah सेम परसेप्शन बट Uh, the appearance is difference which deva this would explain that if someone achieve pasjana then after that they will go to the brahma world that brahma is i have a same uh, perception but different bodies who achieved first jnana this life they will go to the brahma world that brahma has that uh, they have uh, similar perceptions and last one would explain uh nanatta kaya nanatta sanji uh ekatta kaya ekatta sanji is mean the uh, the way different 
and uh, beings have the same perception and also same physical appearance is uh, like uh, subakin deva subakin brahmas see that buddha had that knowledge huh? no one can see that that's buddha's power only buddha can say uh, about that beings that worlds that's the fourth knowledge of the fourth power of the buddha uh, fifth one uh, dinu ah uh, son so the fifth one is the super buddha understands the different attitudes of human beings and other beings and animals mm. yeah nanadi mutti katang yata bhutam pajan you can see different beings in here creatures like a butterfly you can see its variant different different butterflies huh? as caterpillars then buddha know buddha truly knows the uh, uh how beings are formed into various existence so they have beings have va- various forms so animals for example like animals you know the, that uh, uh in the ocean various various uh, uh fish beings creatures then buddha know how they got the, their body how they convert the according to that uh, power that's a pipta nana di mutti katang yata bhutam pajama then buddha knows uh, how beings are formed into various existence is the power of the tathagata then uh, next a uh, sixth one uh a uh, sound so the sixth one is that he could read and understand others minds yeah uh, not uh, not like that is indriya paroparyatya jnan sound so what's the fifth one again uh buddha truly knows how beings are formed into various existence the home being that indriya paroparyate not uh, parachitta vijana jnana this uh, buddha uh, six knowledge of the uh, this six knowledge uh, power of the buddha the buddha truly knows capacity and ability of the beings and other people a buddha can see buddha can is is can beings the buddha can see their ability uh then uh, we call that uh, indriya paro paryatya jnana the even sariputta bante can't see that only buddha can see that then our insight and our ability no you know the uh, one day we will die then after our uh, consciousness will go according to karma to next life if you have seka bala sadda sila sutta tyaga prakriya then you can are reborn in good destination heavenly world then uh, more uh, that buddha's time various people came to the buddha then they worship the buddha and sat down and buddha uh, looked them 
and Buddha scanned them. Then uh, according to that, Buddha preached Dhamma and they realized Buddha had that ability, that uh, power. You know the Chulla Pantagabhante? Uh, this is his uh, brother, is, uh, he was around, but even he couldn't see his mind, his uh, ability. Then, so then Buddha uh, saw him and Buddha gave instruction of him. Then he became Arhan. Then Chulla Pantagabhante can create thousand version of himself. Huh? See this uh, Buddha saw him and his ability. Then explain, the Buddha explained that uh, if we have good uh, things and uh, uh, um, it means uh, all something uh, and also unhold something. Then Buddha explained. Then you know the, uh, there is a sutta India Paro Pariyatanyana. According to that, uh, this including that the Buddha's uh, power, six power of the Buddha. Mm. Then Buddha explained about uh, uh, beings. There are uh, some beings have uh, whole something, some beings have unwhole something. And mostly when uh, we come to the human world, we have a whole something and unwhole something. Then we, uh, sometimes people do good things. And after that, we can see they uh, uh, go opposite way. And they do, do bad things, unwhole something. Then Buddha can see that. Then uh, I remember that Sutta, Kotti um, Bhante uh, explained, there, is, there was a monk, he, um, uh, then that time, uh, that's Elder Bhantes, Thera Bhantes talking, but uh, that other Bhante uh, talk with them and they uh, uh, not uh, it uh, fix, they are talking. Then Kotidbante, please silent. First, then uh, Therabante will talk. Then after you can talk. Then after that, uh, uh, his friends, that Bante's friends, uh, tell that uh, the, this Bante is very intelligent. He can talk with Therabantes. Then after that, Kotidbante explain. If someone have a first yana, but they practice uh, the wrong thing, they will, uh, it will disappear. And uh, second, yeah, if someone have a second yana, also they, after that, they don't care about, then they think it's not disappear, this my second yana, they do wrong things. Then they, uh, um, miss that they lose their ability, their uh, that jhana. Then uh, he explained. Then that monk after that he uh, disrobed. Then they, they are that uh, Bhante's friend go to uh, went to the him and say, if you see that Bhante's mind. And uh, yes, I saw that or even. And also Deva said he will disrobe. Okay, then uh, uh, that's pre pre uh, friends monks go to the Buddha, went to the Buddha and said that. Then Buddha said, oh, he, he will think about uh, monk's life. Again, he will order. Okay, but uh, Kotita Bhante didn't see that. Okay. Then yeah, after that, he became monk and he achieved the Haranship. See, then Buddha have that ability. Even Narahang Bhante don't have that. That the sixth power of the Buddha. 
ఇంద్రియ పరో పర్యాప్తం నార్మల్ పీపల్ then this time normal people say something is not important us we have a buddha's teaching uh seventh uh do you know what's the seventh one i uh, saw so the seventh one is that but you before you explain this strong huh? you said uh, read others mind huh? that uh, in the oh, um the seventh one is that the supreme buddha understands the corruption of the world the cleansing and the liberation mm-hmm. and the attainment sansa is not perfect uh then buddha uh truly knows jana you know jana you know eh? first second third fourth and arupa jana uh jana vimokha then samadhi concentration uh samapatti and also uh buddha knows the way they become impure pure and how to uh, arise from them buddha knows here me people teach uh, that you know the meditation but they don't know how to do that they just they uh, do their thinking their ideas but buddha knows how to become uh, arahant the, how they are uh, they are, uh, they are uh, uh, what they think then mostly then buddha knows jana first jhana how to meditate how to concentrate mind then if you practice buddha's uh, teaching meditation you can get result because buddha exactly buddha understood that jhana vimoksha samadhi that's high level of the high uh, stage of the uh, um, uh, disciples is a if um, someone if uh, if someone at you jana is not easy thing see then you maybe you try to meditate but uh, it is uh, hard to concentrate mind and then you will uh, you g- give up it but we have a teaching how to develop our mind and uh, uh a, a state of mind um, level of mind then uh, means jana then would they explain jana rupa arupa uh then vimoksha there is some sutta buddha explain about vimoksha i think sala ethnic vibhanga sutta buddha explain is very deep dhamma and also samadhi samapatti and also buddha knows uh, they become impure pure and how to arise them buddha knows that we don't uh, we no we know we don't need to a prayed uh, to meditate because we have a teaching perfect teaching but if uh, we have a teaching but we don't practice then buddha see then buddha explain satipattana sutta uh, what's the english word satipattana sutta satipattana means uh, established of mindfulness Uh, the four establishments of mindfulness yeah for establish of mindfulness and i would explain na uh, then other uh, you know uh, brahma viharana metta karuna mudita apeksha loving kindness compassion 
equanimity and then they explain that mm, then other things uh, you know the uh, girimananda sutta buddha explains uh, uh, anicca sanya impermanent meditation uh, anatta sanya what is anatta what the meaning uh, what is the english word anatta non self anatta non self meditation uh the asubasanya impure meditation is that uh buddha know how to do that how to develop that then test the knowledge the buddha had that uh, power the seven knowledge of the buddha Mm, then what's the seven knowledge of the Buddha Minupa? That's a power. Uh, the seventh one is the Buddha understands jhanas mm. uh, and the way to develop them. Uh, not only jhana, we mock uh, sama, sama pati. Spali word uh, tatagato jhana we mock sama, sama pati nan sankile sana odana uttana yatabuta pajana. Yeah, Buddha truly knows jhana, samadhi, samapati, vimokka. And the way they become pure, impure, uh, uh, and how to arise them, how to develop them. There's, this is the seventh power of the Buddha. Last uh, uh, three of the knowledge that you know about that's uh, three knowledge of the Buddha, Pubbe Nima Sanu Satinyana, eighth one. Buddha can see past lives. One, two, three thousand, hundred thousand, and limitless uh, past lives Buddha can see. Then we don't know he owns, then Buddha explained that. Huh? Uh, Isura, did you remember that similar, uh, similar uh, uh, that uh, Buddha explained he own? There was a similar. Yeah? Uh, in, in Pante, I think one of them was, uh, I think it's the amount of time that it takes a, a man to like rub a mountain with like, a cloth every hundred years, and he would be longer than that. Yeah, that's a. Can you explain about that stone, that uh, rock? Yeah, my sense. Uh, I think it's, I can't remember the dimensions. And, and I think it's, why, width, length, width, height. I think it's, was it seven Yujanas tall and seven wide? Yujana means uh, like uh, 10, like uh, kilometers, huh? Yeah, my sense. Then? Um, then the, the man would go up every hundred years and wipe it with like a really soft uh, cloth. Mm. And by the time the rock is uh, completely like, yeah. Uh, degraded, the eon still not over. Yeah, still the eon's not over. There was another simile. There is another simile. Did you remember? Uh, so and so, was it the one with the mustard seed? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell? Uh, I think the dimensions were uh, a hundred yojanas. Mm -hmm. uh, that was no, like uh, there's a uh, basket like it was a really really big basket mm -hmm. and every hundred years somebody put one mustard seed mm -hmm. and until the mus the box was filled a one your uh, one eon is still not finished can you tell again there's a really big box uh -huh. every hundred years a man puts can you tell that uh, uh with le Len I think the width is a hundred yojanas and no, the hundreds kilometer a hundred kilometers and the 
Oh, uh, what time? Sir? Seven yojana means uh, hundred kilometers. Uh, so seven yojana's length and seven yojana's of a uh, height. Mm. And um, every hundred yeah. years, a man puts one mustard no, seed. No. Then after full of uh, then uh, basket has full of mustard seeds. Yeah, my son. And then every hundred years, a man takes out one hundred uh, yeah. one mustard seed. And until the box is empty, it's the eon is still not over. Yeah. See, then Buddha uh, explain about the eons, and he know uh, he can see past lives, eons and eons, limitless. Then uh, Buddha explain you uh, 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 when it's a painful sansara. That time you cried a lot. What is the simile? I mean, for that Buddha explain. Uh, I believe it was like the amount of tears that we shed mm -hmm. due to the loss of just our mother mm -hmm. uh, is the equivalent of like is even greater than the water in the four great oceans. Yeah. And then there was another one about like the blood that we've spilled uh, due to like beheadings, uh, both as people, as criminals, and we was also more than the four great oceans. And there's uh, other similes like that as well, Bhante. Yeah, that's be uh, because Buddha explained that according to that uh, power, that's knowledge, so many, many sutta we can find. Uh, then ninth uh, knowledge of the ninth power of the Tathagata. Then Buddha uh, with divine vision, which is pure and surpasses human vision, the Tathagata sees passing away and rebirth of beings according to karma. That's Chutupa Patanyan. Buddha can see. Passing away and rebirth of beings. Then because we know we are now human, one day we will die. After that, we have to reborn again if we don't destroy all the farmers. Then uh, Buddha so beings uh, comes human souls, uh, sometime comes uh, heavenly world, sometime uh, comes uh, uh, hell world. Mostly beings go to the heaven, uh, hell world. It's like uh, this, uh, our house, our main now, uh, like our main house. If we go out, we uh, we we think we we have to go uh, home. The same thing, uh, we uh, the beans mostly go to the hell world. That's the nature. That but that. Uh, Buddha understood that and Buddha um, found the path to escape from suffering. This is the ninth power of the Buddha. Chutu Papatanyan. The last one. Asavakya, asavakya uh, the Tathagata has knowledge of the destruction of defilements. He achieved Chitta Vimukti so, and Prakna Vimukti. He liberated both sides. And the Chitta means he developed mind and he developed uh, wisdom. He achieved the Chitta Vimukti. 
uh, mind uh, liberation and also prajna vimukti he developed prajna then he became uh, enlightened without any teacher this is uh, that's because buddha had that knowledge the first person in the world achieved dharanship then buddha taught dhamma to others to understand and arahant mante understood that then i call it to that jnana buddha explain cause and effect law that uh, depend in ordination uh padisampada so it's not normal thing it's normal this not normal power they hear we the more we don't have that ability yeah? that uh, uh, um, became arahant is very rare thing that buddha's time uh, and then arahant monks appeared in the world uh, that a time then uh, after that people's good qualities decline now you see now then people don't uh, care don't take care of parents they do bad things kill beans thousand thousand beans they kill every day because that uh, is here then where a lot of uh, pain in but pain because a lot of suffering because people do bad things then buddha escape from suffering without ten teacher the ten knowledge of the buddha ten power of the buddha there's the sabala jnana and you have to learn that otherwise do you don't know about buddha and please remember those qualities how came in over i must not try to memorize mostly yeah. so both can someone repeat the third fourth and fifth and sixth on sun answer third third fourth fifth and sixth answer i couldn't write those ones down third one there answer uh third one sabbat gamni yatabhutam pajana is that english uh, translation tathagada truly knows the practices that lead to every state of being there answer first third fourth one sir fourth one ूतमूति how beings are formed into various existences number 6 number 6 uh, uh, indri paro paryatta jnan the tathagata truly knows the capacities and abilities of other beings and other people okay then see buddha had that power according to that power buddha is the uh, buddha according to that power buddha claims his place as the supreme one and roars his lions roar in assemblies and set in motion the dhamma wheel wheel of dhamma you know the first buddha he taught us that uh, dhamma chakka pavatan sutta buddha explained four noble truths how buddha understood that 
but Buddha don't hide it. Buddha explained that. Then Arahant Bhante achieved. Then they see the uh, Dhamma. They saw Dhamma. They are their self. See, then we have a supreme teacher. We have to be happy. Mostly, we, are, we have a, some amazing teacher, but we do bad. Um, uh, so, Sometimes we don't practice it. We do other things. If, uh, if someone have uh, confidence in the Buddha, they try to practice Buddha's teaching, follow precepts, then you are good because you today you follow eight precepts according to Buddha's advice. It's good. Try to avoid bad things. Because we are human, most people are bad. Sometimes uh, bad things absorb our life because associate bad friends. Then Buddha explained that based of our life that's associate pe good people, good friends, noble friends. You know, this time it's very hard to find good people. Then sometimes we don't care about, we associate bad people then we maybe we uh, practice as bad things. We practice as bad things. Think about then Buddha's uh, qualities. May it help us to realize the four noble truths. So, so. Children, my maybe they you will. I'll learn before these qualities, but try to memorize it and contemplate it. If we contemplate that, our mind beca become calm because Buddha don't have uh, bad thoughts, defilements. Do we have any questions? Mostly, uh, you learn, uh, try to learn Sutta, Buddha's teaching. If you have a good uh, Dhamma knowledge, then you, you don't, maybe you don't have questions. That's all question, then all answers in uh, how Buddha's uh, teaching. Pante, may I ask one question, please? Yeah. Pante, explain about para. Uh, no, Pante mentioned about paracitta, paracitta vijayana niyana. I think that's what Pante. Today I didn't explain that. No, no, but no, Pante did not explain about that. Yeah. But Pante mentioned that. Um, I think I know. heard that. Uh, he, yeah, that uh, uh, Sangha Bodhi Pante explained that. <laughs> yes, Bante. I, I, Aran, you know, before became Arant, he achieved that state. Yes, does is that con, um, include? Uh, does that include in that six abhinya like the? Yeah. This is Parachita, the reading yeah, others mind, include, right, yeah. Bante? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Now, um, you have to know it's a uh, that the uh, that uh, six jnana. We call that. Uh, uh, Chatta Binya. many Arant Bhante has that. Cha Buddha had. Uh, Chat means six, uh, that uh, knowledge. Do you know that? Chatta Binya. Then Parichitta Vijayanyane Mam Dem. Parnope Mam Dem. Yes, Sivan, do you know that? Six uh, Abhinya? I mean, in the first one is uh, 
divine power i think you learn in morning uh, desana when they explain that it dividanyan divine power first divine power second uh, dibba sota nyan if someone have that he can hear sound uh the people devas pragmas divya sota divine ear second third one parachitta vijanunya if someone have that uh, knowledge he can read other he can read others mind third one parachitta vijanya fourth one pubbe nimasa satinya he can see past lives uh, fifth one chutupa patanya he can see past past in a way beings and rebirth rebirth the so fifth one for last one is asavakinya distracted all the palmas six knowledge which sutta you learn in morning time our sutta about it was called uh, kewada sutta yes beautiful sutta yes diga nikaya number 11 sound this diga nikaya then loan this course huh? Yes, Bante. Bante, can I also ask Bante mention about this Vimokka, Bante? And Bante mentioned yeah. that to learn more about that, we have to go to Salaya Tana Vibhanga Sutra. Salaya Tana Vibhanga Sutra. Yes. Mahasala. It explains. Mm. Yes. I don't know how to explain in English. You It's can okay. read that Sutra. Yes, actually we have. And of the sutta, you can see that. Yes, ma'am. One more thing. So, uh, now, you know, uh, the the new thing come. Yeah, Bante, I will... there's one question in the chat box. Okay, I will see. Can I read to Bante, please? Okay. Did King Yama do bad karma to become the king of hell? That's question from Imasha and Shavan Bante. Um, Imasha, did King Yama do bad karma to become the king of hell? There's a uh, we can't say that, uh, but uh, that is person. But because according to karma, you know the Mogala and Bante became Yama. king yama he is buddha's disciple main disciple but even he uh, was born as uh, yama that's according to karma uh, we can't say that bad karma but is uh, is not good uh, uh, position but because we never heard they realize uh, uh, dhamma not good place <laughs> this is not good place don't go there eh? <laughs> because you have to practice good things or stay in the world but he is he is king but is not good king during the buddha's era King Pasanati experienced a series of 16 dreams and woke up in great fear of what the dreams might mean. His trusted advisors quickly gathered around their king. My advisors, tell me what my dreams mean. The king then proceeded to tell the Brahmins his dreams. The king was greatly worried, 
but the crafty Brahmins saw this as an opportunity to garner wealth for themselves. They told the king, These dreams tell of three great calamities, my lord. They prophesize great harm to your kingdom, to your wealth, and to your life. Is there anything we can do to prevent this? The Brahmins told the king that he would have to go where the four roads meet and make appropriate sacrifices to the spirits to ward off the coming calamity. The Brahmins expected to receive great amounts of wealth from the ceremonies and sacrifices. Queen Malika, a devout follower of the Buddha, heard all the commotion and asked the king what was happening. The king sarcastically said, I envy you. You must have some animals in your ear, such that you didn't even know what was happening around here. What do you mean, your majesty? I've had some unlucky dreams, and the Brahmins have told me they will lead to disaster. They are helping me prepare sacrifices to protect me. I see. Has your majesty consulted the wisest of all sages before deciding upon this action? Who is that? Of course, I mean the Lord Buddha. He will surely understand your dreams. What a great idea. Let us go at once. When the king reached the monastery, he and Queen Malika paid their respects and sat down to one side. What brings your majesty here so early in the morning? Lord Buddha, I have had terrifying dreams. My Brahmins have warned me that great disaster will befall me. To avert the evil, they are preparing to sacrifice many live animals where the four roads meet. Queen Malika suggested I consult you to learn what these dreams really mean and what will happen. The king then told the Buddha his 16 dreams. In my first dream, I saw that four strong oxen were storming in from all four directions. They seemed to be livid, as if they were going to angrily and forcefully smash into one another. Once the four were close in proximity, they retreated and withdrew far away from one another without colliding. In the far and distant future, natural disasters will occur. Namely, rain will not fall seasonally. Large clusters of clouds will float in from the four directions, and it will appear that heavy rainfall will drench the land. Once the four groups of looming clouds drift in towards each other, they will disperse and retreat in opposite directions. No rain will fall. Rice fields and various crops will be dry and desolate. Humans and animals will starve to death in large numbers. These events will happen in the far and distant future. My second dream was about various types of trees that were not large enough to bear flowers and fruit. Yet the juvenile tree's branches were overwhelmed and unable to support the immense weight of its fruits and flowers. In the far and distant future, young females, too young to have husbands, will want to marry and have a family. These preteens will be filled with lust and sexual desire. They will seek sensual pleasures and will be so taken with their craving for love and lust that they will be wed at an adolescent age. This will become customary and accepted by society. Some will be promiscuous and unashamed of their animal-like behavior. 
When they become pregnant, they will seek out ways to kill the baby, and as a result, they'll cultivate horrendously bad karma that will take shape in the future. This miserable situation will be a sight to pity. These events will occur in the far and distant future. Those who will be born in that period will undoubtedly face these circumstances. My third dream was about a herd of oxen sucking milk from the nipples of their offspring. In the far and distant future, parents will live off the sweat and toil of their children. They will rely on their offspring for money, food, and other necessities. In those times, parents will have to be nice and please their children in order to remain in their good graces at all times. These events will occur in the far future. In my fourth dream, I saw a large crowd of people forcing small, young oxen to bear a tremendous weight on their shoulders in order to pull a cart. Once the oxen could not drag the cart any further, the people whipped and beat them. In the far and distant future, people will commonly let recent graduates assume the heavy administrative duties of the country. Even though they are knowledgeable, these young adults lack experience, capacity, comprehensive knowledge, and thoroughness in managing economic, social, and political problems. Consequently, errors will occur. These young graduates will be slow to adapt to events, and their lack of responsibility and balance will result in the country's loss. The development and prosperity of the country will be hampered, and the young administration will be criticized and condemned. These events will happen in the far and distant future. What did you learn from this story? What do you think about this? Now already occurred at that. Huh? Put the soul that in the future. 